Hi, my name is Peach. Let me not waste your time. Martinez asks how I did a certain text in this certain video. Here's an example. And it's much more than just changing the opacity on a text node. First, bring your adjustment clip in, add a merge, and also a text node. Type out whatever text you like and whatever font you like. Next, we're going to add a matte control. And then we're going to put the text on the garbage mask. To do that, we're going to hold Alt once we're dragging the line towards the matte control. And then it'll allow us to pop up with this screen, which we can choose garbage matte. Next, we're going to connect our median in into our mat control, connect the mat control to the merge on the green input. Next, we're going to add a brightness and contrast node to the bottom line of our node graph. Increase our gain so the text will pop out. And then to change the color of the text, we can add a color corrector and change it to whatever color you want. And that's how they make this text effect. I'm a little late to answer this one, but Sin asked if I could do a tutorial on how to animate a logo. I asked him what kind of animations, and he told me some glitches or a zoom out. At first, I misread the question and thought it was just titles. So here's a bunch of titles that I made because it's really up to you on how you want to customize or animate your logo. Here I'm going to teach you how to do some glitches. With this transform, I keyframed a bunch of resizing, but you don't need to have that. In order to get this glitchiness, I added a fast noise node, and I turned up the contrast in the detail, and I added a mosaic blur to make the fast noise look pixelated. With the transform, I resize it so the boxes look skinny and fat, and with that, I put it into a displace node. Basically what a displacement node does is takes the color values of an image, usually black and white if you're using an alpha channel, and it allows you to make distortion with whatever color values are there. Lastly, I added a prism blur, and I only turned on the red channel and the alpha channel, so it would give it more of that 3D blue and red kind of effect. Other than that, you can add more nodes to put effects onto your title animation or your logo animation to make it look cool. Gilly asked if I can make a tutorial on how to do a rainbow color effect, and I wasn't quite sure what you were going for, because there's a basic way, and there's a, there's a more complicated way depending on what you want. For example, the simpler way is take an adjustment clip, go into the fusion page, and just use a color wheel node and keyframe the hue so it goes crazy. So you want to choose a certain color and you want that rainbow effect to happen to only that color. What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our footage and we're going to go into the color page. Here we're going to go to the qualifier and choose a certain range of colors that we want to change. Here I did the purple hair. You see it shows up in the color node. Now I don't want to change the color of the eyes so I masked around the eyes so only whatever is inside the mask is affected. Then I added alpha output and I made a compound clip of the clip that I only have the hair selected. In the fusion page, this is where we can change the hue of only the hair and keyframe it to make a rainbow effect. And then at the end, just combine your clips with a new compound clip, and there you go. Fresh asks if I can show him how to do the blur glow coming from this transition. First, what you want to do is get your clips, drag an adjustment layer on top of both of them, and go into the fusion page. Here, find where you made the cut, you can add a blur node, again, keyframe the start, where the cut is, and where the end is. The first keyframe, the blur size is going to be at zero. The middle keyframe, turn the blur size up. And at the end of the keyframe, turn the blur size back down. Next, you're going to add a glow node and keyframe at the same places and raising the glow at the middle keyframe. Well, lastly, to finish it off, we're going to adjust both splines for the glow and the blur. This is what I did. The way I adjusted these splines is an ease out and ease in curve. And that's basically your effect. Ricky asked if I could go over how to put text behind a character or object, and basically the way you want to do that is through masking. There's plenty of ways to mask. I suggest watching CB Super's tutorial where he goes over all the ways you can mask. A way that he didn't mention is if you're not using footage, but if you're using photos instead, you can have a transparent PNG, drop it in, and you also have transparency behind the character. But if you are using footage, you're going to have to mask. Masking is a way to cut out whatever footage you have in a scene so you can put things behind them. For example, in my Demon Slayer edit, I masked out Zensu and Tanjiro in order to put text behind them with a polygon mask. As you can see here, I masked out Nezuko and all her hair strands. If you don't know how to mask, this is a simple way to do so. You're going to grab a polygon mask from up here in the toolbar, then you're going to not connect it to the node first, but you're going to draw out where you want to mask the character first. Here I was masking a Minecraft character, and you're just going to draw points all around the person to cut them out. After a while you can end it. Here I just ended up cutting out the leg because I didn't want to mask the whole character. Then once you're finished, you connect the node to the media in where the mask input is. And you'll have your cutout footage that you can put text behind. If you have any more requests or tutorials that you would like me to do, please link them down below. If you do have any other questions, you can also join the DaVinci AMV community server. There's a lot of smart people in there that could probably help you out. Other than that, subscribe and have a good day. What's your zodiac sign? Do you think I am fine? Am I wasting your time? Wait. Because you looking divine, do you want to be mine? No, I see it as fine. Okay. She got me slipping and sliding. She hold rush, she riding. She closing her eyelids. She feel Just so right. you know, I'm a Leo. I'm worth like two people. That makes us a trio. Ideal, alright?